now, now I want to show you something which actually uh, is very popular right now, and that is mounting pictures behind acrylic, the so-called face mounting process. So uh, this goes in two steps. The first step is we have to mount or laminate a double-sided optical clear mounting film to a print. Again, if you want to do that, we need a tool. This is again a mountable board or a board which is equipped with a release liner on top. We clean that because this process needs to be done very, very carefully and cleanly. Here on that tool board, we have another board attached which reflects exactly the thickness of the acrylic which we want to use. It's very important that this board is not higher than the acrylic. If it is a little bit lower, that is workable, but make sure it is never higher. That is the tool. A step we have established here, which reflects the thickness of the acrylic. In this case, it's 3 mm. Mount or laminate a double sided mounting film, optical clear mounting film to our print. So we cut from our film a sheet out. Yeah. We move this sheet to our board. It is very, very similar to that what we have I have shown you for mounting pictures uh, or glue to uh, lamination films to frames. So now I take a little bit lamination film because it is much more easier to get the first liner out of it. Because that is not so easy. So here we are. No? We have grabbed the liner. And now we attach this to our non-stick board. We open the gaps between the laminators. This is rather important. You should not roll this sandwich now in by any force. So it must, you see, that is already a little bit too much, so we have to open it a little bit wider. It must go freely in. You see, you must be able to move that in all directions. So now we put pressure to the Board. Now the upper roller rests on the lower roller. Too much pressure is also not very much required because the print would not be lying straight anymore. We move that to the back. The print of course needs to be absolutely dust free. Here we have the liner. We grab the liner in the middle and roll the thing on top. Now the print is equipped with our optical clear double-sided mounting film. So now comes the next step, 
the second step to combine this face of the picture with the acrylic. Again, we need to have this tool, but we turn it the other way around because now comes this step into action. In order to know where the print starts, we have to mark it because we work upside down so we don't see the image. So we must have here a mark. The marking shows us where the print starts. What is also very nice and which makes our job easier is if the print is slightly larger than the acrylic itself. Since you print the pictures by yourself, I hope you do, then uh, this you can control. Okay, so now comes the next step. We remove the liner. Here we have the glue again. But we don't move it into the picture. We stop before. We turn it over and now we place the markings right at the edge of our attached board. Now comes the next step. We move that again into the laminator. So we have there two boards, so we have a double distance. Therefore, the rolls need to be lifted up. Again, move it in there that you can move it freely and now you add the pressure. Okay. But be ensured if you add excessive pressure the result wouldn't be better. It would not help to improve your result. Now comes the next step. We have to remove the protective film from the acrylic. Make sure you use good quality casted acrylic. You can check whether the picture is completely covered. Here we a little bit out of tune. We have to move it a little bit in. Don't touch it, the surface with your fingers because the glue wouldn't stick anymore. So we are fine. Everything is beautiful. I have to clean this anti-static or our dust removing roller. Roll over to make sure it's in perfect condition. Okay, I have moved a little bit, but I adjust that later. But it is necessary that everything is nicely and clean. Check again, fine. So now comes the part of rolling it on. Here you have to watch out too. If you now remove the sandwich from the board, grab the acrylic underneath and pull it up. Don't push on the paper because you may remove the glue right away since it takes a little bit time for the glue to harden. So now we cut it around. And uh, for safety reasons, since all the materials are relatively expensive, I just add a little bit more pressure by letting the upper roller rest on the lower roller and I move it through into this direction. I turn it back and I turn it by 90 degree 
one more time and now we check whether we have a good result by removing the protective layer from the acrylic. What a splendor. <laughs>